Hello, welcome to today's episode of Juicing the Numbers. I am your host, Joshua Tracy. My name is Corwin Heller. And today we're going to be talking about the possibility of expanding team size in the MLB, NFL, and talking a little bit about the NHL. Uh, I should say team location rather than team size. That makes more sense. Yeah. And we'll be using our discussion of team attendance, some of the factors in, that involved that, in making our case, I guess, for where we would be putting these new teams. You ready to dive in? Yeah, more than I ever will be. That was just so emphatic. Well, I mean, I don't so know what into you guys it. expect from me at this point. That's true. You're very lucky, I actually man. am excited to talk about this, but this is about as high as my excitement level goes when Odell's not traded. Yeah, that shit was ooh, bonkers. <laughs> Actually, I think this episode's coming out before the episode we re- react to that in, so that'll be that'll be fun for y'all Oops, to listen to. Spoiled it. I know, crazy stuff. Oh, anyway, uh, do you want to start with baseball, hockey, or football? Let's first? Let's do hockey because they actually did expand and have already approved the next. Yes, one. they did. Um, I was, yeah, I was going to say that, and and they've they're getting ready for the second one. So the NHL, which was previously uh, 28, no, 30 teams. Yeah, 30 teams because they're going up to 32. Yeah. They recently just added a team in the in Las Vegas at the end of the Strip, right before, I believe, the Las Vegas Raiders Stadium. So they'll be side-by-side side, relatively. And the NHL has recently, within the last, uh, I don't know, six months, approved the ex- Seattle Expansion team. Yeah, they did that in December. Oh, yeah. wow. That was so recent. I feel like they've been talking about that shit forever, though. Yeah, it's been honestly been talked about for several years now. Well, one of the deals with that is that Seattle used to have a team, not like recently, like way back in the day. Plus, they're like a northern U.S. city and like they're close to Canada and they got an immediate rivalry with Vancouver. It made all the sense mm-hmm. in the world. I'm surprised Vegas got theirs first. Yeah, I feel like that's just kind of a money deal because there was definitely going to be a oh, lot 100%. of money in Vegas, and there has been. So, so what what do you think of those two towns? Um, why why would you think outside of I guess just money? Because I mean that's going to be the case with every single town we talk about. They picked those two towns as their expansion towns. Well, I get why they did it with Seattle. You know, it is. You know, a hockey-friendly town. They want more, you know, professional teams. They want, you know, they want hockey back. You know, they were very open to the idea. And, you know, if a city wants a team that bad and are willing to pay to get a team like that, um, why not put them there? Especially with, you know, the location and where they are. It worked out perfectly. Vegas, outside of the money, I mean, it's a completely untapped market. A small market. But at the end of the day, I mean, with the amount of tourists that go through there at any given day, I don't think they're hurting for attendance. You know, people going to Vegas are going to want to go see a Golden Knights game. And guess what? They're going to bet some money on it, too. So they're fine ponying up the big bucks. Yeah, I also think it adds, and this is definitely going to come up when we talk about baseball in regards to the Atlanta Braves. Um, There's a lot of dead territory or just... I guess you could say unoccupied fan territory when you get out to the West. Like, what the fuck mm-hmm. is between the um, the the Colorado Avalanche and like the uh, like the the uh, San Francisco teams or the California teams? You know, the um, San Diego Sharks. No, sorry, San San Jose Sharks, the L.A. <laughs> Kings. I mean, between those two teams, there's fucking nothing. You know. Now there's L.A. Or, I mean, um, Las Vegas. Yeah, Jesus, I mean, I'm dying. There's deserts and mountains. Yeah, and, and yeah. there's definitely people there <laughs> that want to watch these games. So I think I think that's also an area worth exploring. I think it could be tough because on the one hand, you want to think, I want to add teams to high-populated um, metro areas. But at the same time, I don't think people want to cluster teams too much. From what I've been hearing with... Um, Mm-hmm. Expansion talks for every sport. It's about branching out, so I think that's interesting too. So Seattle is the fifteenth largest metro area in the country, 
Las Vegas is 28th. In between, the 13 metro areas in between, um, I'm looking real quick. I see Minneapolis has a team. San Diego does not. St. Petersburg, um, or Tampa Bay does. Baltimore does not. St. Louis does. Charlotte does. Orlando does. San Antonio does not. Uh, Portland does not. Pittsburgh does. And Sacramento does not. So it's kind of a, an even split. Did yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, I think Pittsburgh does, right? Okay, just want to make sure. Yeah, I just was oh, cheering okay. that you yeah. said Pittsburgh, which is surprising to me, honestly, <laughs> that Pittsburgh is more populated than Las Vegas. But I guess you just a lot of the people you think of as being in Las Vegas are just there for touring purposes. But so, did any of those names stick out to you as towns you would think that the NHL would put a team in next if they were to expand again? Um. <sighs> I'd have to look at the list because I wasn't listening to, like I wasn't prepared for the question when you were running through it. It's, but looking at the list myself, okay. it's San Diego, Baltimore, San Antonio, Portland, and Sacramento. Um, I feel like out of all of those, it would have to be San Diego, because I mean. San Jose is close enough to Sacramento where that's, you know, a little too close for me. Baltimore is essentially Washington, D.C. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like in my head, San Diego is far enough from L.A. where that would be enough to have yeah, its own it territory, other sports, if you will. They have a baseball team that is, you know, down the strip from two other baseball teams. They have a basketball team that's down the down the road from two of the basketball teams. I was thinking maybe maybe Portland because you'd have an immediate rivalry with like Vancouver and Seattle. And I think that's one of the things that draws people out to games. I, I'm not sure there's enough I would like I, I was Sorry, thinking about saying Baltimore, but I just is there any hostility between a, a Baltimore team and a DC team? Like anywhere? There uh, the NFL maybe just because yeah, the Redskins and the Ravens same thing, but same thing with the baseball different... with the, with the Orioles yeah. and the Nationals like they never play each other so I mean I guess they could mm -hmm. even in Philly like they don't play Philly that much either like there's no one around it that would be like oh fuck yeah. this is my city now representing a city I'm going to be playing frequently or that I haven't already established vitriol towards you know like like if, if Boston was missing mm -hmm a basketball team, you know, just for shits and giggles. That would be a place you would immediately think to put a basketball team, not just because of size, but because Boston and New York fucking hate each other. And then you'd have an immediately interesting rivalry between <laughs> Boston and New York in the basketball sense because they already hate each other for football, they already hate each other for hockey, um, they already hate each other for baseball. I just don't know what Baltimore really hates outside of New York because we play them in, you know, Baseball, sure. Pittsburgh. But I think I think Portland would have a good rivalry to draw people out to games. I feel like the only issue with Portland is because Seattle is still in that, you know, northwest, Pacific Northwest area, and they're just getting an expansion team. I feel like most of Portland and that, you know, surrounding Oregon area are going to be kind of latching on to what the – whatever this team is going to get end up getting named to their Kurt tails, I guess coattails. I actually don't know what that idiom is. Coattails. All right. I mean, I know that the Portland area also put in a bid for a for a, a an expansion team, in the NHL that got pushed to the side because of the Seattle expansion team coming through because the NHL favored that one. So I know that there's, obviously been talk but I mean you know tough to say Vegas had a great great opening season in the town attendance wise and like hype yeah. wise and I mean they fucking like success wise Jesus they went to the goddamn Stanley Cup yeah, seriously. Uh, but it's tough to say you know it's okay we you did yeah, I think you mean the, 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 the capitals did yeah yeah, no. We set up the Capitals to succeed, 
by playing, you know, a better key team leading up to the sad. finals to set him up to sm- So there is one town in the top five <laughs> for metro areas in the U.S. that does not have a hockey team, Houston. Do you think people would care? Honestly, no. I feel like the Stars really, even they kind of, like they have their diehard fans, but I don't think that they could share the Texas market. You know, Texas is already flooded with football. It's a big baseball state. Basketball, they have, I think, just two teams. They're talking about adding a third. I just don't think they could they could deal with another honestly like to them subpar professional it'd franchise it'd be weird because i've never i mean i've heard it mentioned because it is a top 5 metro area that doesn't have mm-hmm. a team so of course it's going to get mentioned in expansion talks i think i'd rather see an underperforming attendance wise team get moved there if that was to be the case um arizona no i'd actually leave arizona there cuz that's that's what the talk is is that arizona would move to houston in 2020, 2021, to balance oh, out the East and the West. Um, yeah, uh, Paul Bissonette, uh, Ryan Whitney were talking about it on Spin a couple months ago. I think I'd like to keep yeah. Arizona where they are just because I like where that team is. And uh, also, that yeah, team was the reason Austin Matthews is in the league because he is from Arizona and grew up mm-hmm. in Arizona. Um, whatever the fuck their team name is called, fan. What are they called? Oh, Jesus. I kept thinking... Coyotes. I kept thinking Arizona Phoenixes. I'm like, that's not right. I honestly... Yeah, that was the I'm first like, thing no, I thought No, it's of. the Phoenix Suns. And I'm like, no, that's the wrong sport. <laughs> oh, I was... I was, I was... <laughs> like, I, I know it's the Coyotes, but I was like, man, I want to say it's the Phoenix... Or the Arizona Phoenix. And then I'm picturing the logo, and I'm thinking, like, it's not like the Phoenix Dogs. Like, yeah. Oh, God, I would be so happy if they went back to those old... um, I don't have no idea how to actually pronounce the name of the old classic Yeah, the fucking, like, um, techno-looking... I just forgot again, Coyote. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus! Um... Jesus Christ, Josh. Get your shit together. Anything else you think would be relevant in the discussion for um, attendance for the NHL? This one I feel like I know the least about. Um, Not really. I mean... I feel like of all the teams that we talk about today, they would probably be in... Like the NHL would probably have the most room talent wise to expand. Um, I just don't know. Like when Seattle is expanded, they'll finally have, you know, an even number of teams again. I just don't think that it's. I just don't think they should expand past that. I think Seattle is a really good way to bookend the expansion of NHL teams. Yeah, they're, they're definitely done for, like, a while after this. Like, for sure. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I think that's it. We've seen a lot of movement in the NHL. The The Winnipeg Jets weren't there when they started. The uh, Dallas Stars weren't there when they started. The Minnesota Wild, I think, was an expansion team. Um, Golden Knights was an expansion team. Coyotes weren't there when they started. The... Um, Devils weren't there when they started. Uh, yeah, we, we, we've seen a lot of expanding and movement in the NHL, in part because it's tough to to track down which spots would actually like it, um, which is, again, why I would think I would say Portland, just because it's cold and it's northern. I think we'd have to also look at some Canadian towns. Like, I know Quebec City wants a team again. They've been talking about that shit forever. Um you know, because they used to have the Quebec mm-hmm. Nordiques. But I, I think hockey's in a good place. I think despite the hate Bettman gets, relatively deservedly so, he's done a very good job with mm-hmm. growth of the league. 
It's much more profitable now than it was. He's underseen two different expansion teams. Um, they've done well. So, yeah, it's going to be weird having the NHL two yeah, more really teams in baseball. But I guess that just goes to show how tough baseball is. Mm-hmm. Like, I am really excited for the next NHL expansion draft just to see how they tweak it or if they change anything at all to see how they can get Seattle to be a competitive franchise in the way that Vegas I am, was. I am not excited for the expansion draft as I'm afraid of losing all of my players. <laughs> um, Yeah, I mean, thankfully, I think it's going to be on the very much tail end of the Penguins run. So I think we're just going to hoard all of our young players and give up somebody like yeah, that makes Phil sense. Kessel. Yeah. Just uh, give up on we'll Matt Murray. Help, him, help out the new expansion team with an all-star goalie again. Uh, 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 just about it. poking through the list of largest metro areas uh, in the world, I mean, I'm not really seeing anything that even remotely looks like it would be a good a good fit for expansion at least that would be playing in the americas so i think we're set to move on to we want to do football next yeah let's do football close up with some baseball so if you were to put an expansion team in the nfl where would you put it I would put one in San Diego and put one in St. Louis. I know it's a joke, but like those two places would be really good, honestly. Um, yeah, no, I really think that they would be. Like, So you said earlier about how the NHL wanted to branch out and hit you know, untapped markets. I don't get why the NFL would put two fucking teams in L.A. in the same fucking season. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, I know why they wanted to, which is, like, they don't want one team to get a foothold in L.A. and then have the other one try to break in and steal fans. But you haven't had a team in L.A. in, like, 20-something years. Nobody is a fan of either of these teams, like, in the first place. Why are you trying to build two fan bases from nothing in the same city? I mean, uh, I guess it worked out for them because... Relative to size of stadium, the Chargers did well. Relative to overall attendance for the league, they did incredibly poorly. But because they played in a fucking miniature stadium. Uh, but, and the Rams did well. They finished top 10 in attendance. I I get it because you have so fucking many people that are just incapable of attending a an NFL game on their like you know on a weekend just because but they fucked those two fan bases fuck those two fan bases in the process both of which both of those cities i think are yeah. under I mean, underappreciated football or, you know, sports Indiana, cities like san NFL. diego and kansas uh, not kansas city, st louis yeah love sports there st louis has a goddamn hockey team mm-hmm. which is Honestly, they did well for a while. Like, it's a very well-supported hockey team. You know, the St. Louis Cardinals, <laughs> kind of a well-supported baseball team. Who would who would think? Um, San Diego, I know that they've supported the Padres through what is essentially being the Cleveland Browns of baseball. Um, I don't know. I... I know that L.A. was the first team to move, and they were in a better... I would say position to move. I don't know why. Um, I want to say Dean Spanos is the owner of the. He is well, LA Chargers, Chargers. But yeah, but I don't know why. He... And Stan uh, Kroenke, of course, is the owner of the uh, um, Rams. Right. Two of the worst owners in football. Uh, yeah, they. I don't think they touch uh, Dan Snyder. I mean, but, I put them yeah. there with like. Well, nobody well, touches. Some Dan people Snyder. touch Dan Snyder. In all honesty, I would rank it Dan Snyder as being the worst owner mm-hmm. in non hockey yes, non Melnick yeah. sports. Um and then I'd put Stan Kroenke and then Dean Spanos. It's a pretty solid top three. Yeah. Yeah. 
not a list you want to be on, but oh well. Yeah. No. If you had to expand, where would you throw them? So again, I'm looking at just the swath of unoccupied territory. Like if you look at a map of where NFL teams are located, like on the West Coast, you got Raiders, Niners, uh, Rams, Chiefs, or is it Rams, um, Chargers, uh, and um, Cardinals, and then like a just huge patch of fucking nothing, and then the Denver Broncos, and then a huge patch of nothing, and then the Kansas City Chiefs, the Dallas Cowboys, and the. Mm-hmm. Uh, Minnesota Vikings and the Houston Texans, which is a terrible name for a football team. So, I would want to say something in there. Um, I'm not sure where. Well, I guess Vegas is getting its team with with the Raiders relocating. The problem is, even though it's unoccupied territory, there's not a lot of people who live there. Um, If I'm looking at just a list of population size that that doesn't have a team, I think the first city that's going to pop up is Riverside, San Bernardino, Ontario, Canada, uh, California, and I don't even know where the fuck that is. Um, that's at like, 13th. I think that's like Northern California or like right out. Uh. But San Antonio. San Antonio at 24th is the first. And the reason it's, it's tough is because the NFL has done a great job with all their massive amounts of relocating of putting okay. their sports teams oh sorry actually st louis because i keep forgetting they don't have a team so st. ontario san 21. bernardino is right outside uh la oh then no yeah no no so with with, with with all the nfl teams moving so fucking constantly the nfl has done that pretty conscious of attendance or of um population so that's why they fill out the top towns pretty fucking well because it seems very strategic on the NFL's part. So St. Louis is the first area that pops up that doesn't have a team already. Oh, no, San Diego. I keep forgetting those two cities don't have teams anymore. So San Diego at 17, St. Louis at 21. Um, Portland, I would say again, honestly. I'd be pretty soft on it. I don't think I'd be too too big on it overall. I'd like to say Toronto, but I know how much they love the Canadian Football League up there, so I don't know if it could survive the competition because as much as I think of the Canadian Football League as a bit of a joke, but only because it's such a huge step down from the NFL, it's taken very seriously in Canada, so I don't know if they'd be able to compete well, but I think if they could, Toronto would be really cool. Yeah. Like I would love to see that. Um. I mean, I I kind of agree with you on all fronts. Like, St. Louis, San Diego are two really fantastic areas that should have teams. I think Portland could possibly handle it, um, although what about I a, don't What about a third Texas it. team at San Antonio? It, it would be I mean, Texas hard. fucking loves football. I would say if you did anything, it wouldn't be San Antonio, and it would be, like, El Paso. Um, maybe, like, Austin. Austin is too close to Houston. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Um, my dark horse would be Alabama. Like, put one in Mobile. Mobile. Um, there really isn't anything between Jacksonville, Atlanta, and St. L- not St. Louis. Um, fuck, what am I thinking of? Louisiana. Uh, New Orleans. Los- New Orleans, yeah. Um, I think Mobile would be actually a pretty damn good place to have it. It's outside of Tuscaloosa, and it's outside of Auburn, so there's no blood feuds there. Um, Mobile already has you know, a temporary stadium uh, that they use for the Senior Bowl. There's a huge football um, fandom there. I think it wouldn't be the greatest city just because there's not a whole ton of not a whole lot of people in Alabama itself. It's not a very dense area, but I think as far as fandom is concerned, I think they'd support one. Yeah, one of the things that um, I forgot to bring up is one of the well, two things I forgot to bring up when we were talking about the NHL. One of them you just brought up now is what places want the sport. Mm. I kind of relatively made the point with being somewhere north in the U.S. for hockey or south in Canada for hockey, but 
think about what places are really have the population and the thirst to have the sport. And the other point being, you don't want to put it next to like a very old, very respected um, other football franchise because then why the fuck would they ever support your new team? Like, you the, know? which you is why away with it with it's like, so hard in Texas, just because nobody wants to fight the Cowboys. I think you could get away with it on the west side of Texas because it's so comically far from where the Cowboys play. Yeah. Um, like El Paso area. Or, yeah. Isn't San Antonio on the west coast of Texas too? No, San Antonio's right south of Austin. Oh, then I fucked up when I said that. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so, like, you wouldn't put a team in the Boston area because they just never compete with the Patriots. Mm-hmm. You couldn't put a team in... The Pittsburgh area, even with their you know smaller size, just because they'd never give up the Steelers, you could get away with it back in the day when like the Jets were founded because they were only founded forty some odd years, thirty three I think years after the Giants. So while that's a significant amount of time for a life, it's not a significant amount of time for a franchise. Right. So, I mean, there's there's that, but like, you know, you look at these these towns, you wouldn't put a team in. The greater Indianapolis area, because you wouldn't want them to compete with the Colts. You definitely wouldn't be putting a second team like in Chicago, which has two baseball teams. Because, I mean, fuck, man. Actually, you think that would work out? Which is how big of a sports town Chicago is, and how small Soldier Field is. You think a second franchise would 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 play there? I don't think anyone in Chicago would really support a team that's not the Bears and do so openly. You know. I know it would be tough, but it's just it's such a sports town and the 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 Bears stadium is just so fucking small. I'm wondering if they would just get residual attendance from people who didn't want to spend money on Bears tickets. I I, I understand the face you're making. I don't full heartedly believe this. Yeah. But I, I think I think I it's like it I think it's interesting. Tough. Yeah, no, I definitely could see Chicago being able to support two NFL teams. I just don't think Chicago would be able to the start will? a new team, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and then the Northeast is exceedingly crowded uh, between the Bills, the Jets, the Pats, the Eagles. I mean, the Steelers, the Browns, the, the Ravens, and the, the, the Skins. <laughs> Maybe somewhere else. Ah, Alabama is such a good pick. It really was. It's just it, it's it's a little blank patch. They love football there. Yeah. Like the only I, issue I, I think, outside of it being like too small of a market in Mobile um, is would people give up their fandom for the Tide and Auburn to support an NFL team fully? You know. I think if they could do like. A, have 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 a local boy go to the expansion team as like their quarterback. Like imagine like a an Alabama um, QB starting for the Alabama NFL franchise. I think would be like a great way of introducing it. But I have no fucking idea. All right, what is the smallest metropolitan area that currently has a NFL team on our spreadsheet? Uh, it's uh, Green Bay, which is a Metro area of almost nobody. Not like give me a number. Oh, isn't it like three hundred thousand? Oh, I thought you were actually looking. Um. Oh, oh, you you don't have it in front of you. Oh, yeah, I was gonna have you guess. That was just a I was sincere look- question. Yeah, it was. It's three hundred and twenty thousand. Um. I mean, hey, I got it. Granted, there's a larger metro area in Milwaukee, not too far away. Um, the population of Mobile, Alabama, is a hundred and ninety thousand. Oh God, no! If you went Birmingham, Dude, it's like two eleven. But that is not a great. So what you're saying is great. Mobile, Alabama, is just barely larger than the max capacity at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Essentially, yes. That's crazy. I guarantee you on college game days in State College, Pennsylvania, there is at least twice as many people in State College than there is in Mobile. What about, um, do you think there's any anywhere worth looking at in, in um, what's that fucking state called? 
New Mexico? Um, probably not. Uh, I don't know. I've never really considered New Mexico being a large football area. Yeah, I'm just trying to look at these patches. I don't think there really is much either. Um, what... If you were to put a, a football team in a town that you think would have an instant rivalry with another town, where would you put it? Ooh, uh, Portland would be an instant rivalry with Seattle. Um, yes, sir. I think if you put or, one in Raleigh, North Carolina, that would be an instant rivalry with the Panthers. Just cause, are the Panthers in Charlotte? Yeah, they're in South Carolina. Um, what were you saying? What if instead of Portland... You put the team in Vancouver to have the first Canadian team and a geographic rivalry with Seattle. Um, I wouldn't be against that, I don't think. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, I, I know that the, the Canadian Football League would still be a thing. Cause I think Vancouver has a team. Uh, yeah, they have the Argonauts. Yeah, but I, I'm willing. I, I, I could see that shit working out. Yeah, I mean, if you put one in El Paso, that would be a pretty quick rivalry with Arizona. But, again, so, like, the big thing for me is when it comes down to it is how much reorganization there would have to be in order to fit one more NFL team. Like, there's no way the NFL would have one more team without adding two more. And then even then they'd have to reorganize every single one of the conferences, all that noise. I just, I don't know. What about Salt Lake City? Battle with the Broncos. I feel like the Raiders moving to Vegas might cut in on that. But at the same time, Mormons are weird, man. I don't know if they would support football. I mean, well, they have a basketball team. The Utah Jazz yeah. is, a, is a supported basketball franchise. I mean, they plus, have BYU. I think there's nothing out like, there. I don't think that. I don't know. I'm kind of just speaking they, out of, you know, a hypothesis without any information on this. Oh, so am I. I, I think it would give you a nice geographic rivalry uh, as the Raiders will get marginally closer to Utah. The Broncos are there. The Cardinals are there. I think it'd be interesting. And Salt Lake City is super fucking nice from what I've heard. Yeah, so it's actually a really nice town. And I think it's a little bit surprising that you have a one... There's not a lot of one-team cities anymore, you know? I know Jacksonville is one, and um, Sunrise, Florida, where the Panthers are currently located, is one. But by and large, there's not a lot of one-team cities out there in the world. And it's kind of odd that Salt Lake is one, especially in such an aggressively quick-growing sport as the NBA... I think they might be able to handle a football team out there. I could see it. I mean, I wouldn't be against that at all. I think it would be a, a nice little try. At the same time, though, I still just don't think expansion is feasible, as much as I hate to say it. Not right now. Where would What, what team would you relocate if you had a relocated team, and where would you put it? I'd re re uh, in all honesty, I would relocate the Chargers back to San Diego. Um. Other than that, I'd probably move. Yeah, other than the LA teams. Um. Man, I feel like I just want to move one of the Florida teams. Um, probably Jacksonville. Um, I'd move. Oh, that really? Up. I was gonna say Tampa. I feel like their because, attendance is fucking bad. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, I was kind of torn between the two. I just kind of gave it to Jacksonville just because they had a shorter history. Um. But, again, you would not have to try very hard at all to convince me to move Tampa instead. Where do you think Tampa finished in attendance last season? What what rank? 28th. I'm going to guess. 29th. Jesus Christ. 29th, yeah. <laughs> not great. I mean, yeah, they only beat out the Raiders, the Bengals, and the Chargers, and they were just above... Yeah, or below, I guess, the Indianapolis Colts, who had less attendance than the Arizona Cardinals, which is interesting. That's bad. But, like, that's yeah, well, I, yeah, I, I couldn't even offer you a real reason since the Colts were actually fucking good last season. Although they did have a rough start. That could just be it. 
no attendance in those early games. Yeah. I can see that. If I had to move a team, I think I would move the Bengals because they just had no success in that city. And I understand Cincinnati fans would be all pissy about it, but they finished 31st in attendance. They were founded in 1968, so they're not especially old. And like I said, they've just not been successful in that fucking town. Um, I would probably put them in one of the cities I named earlier, either Portland or Salt Lake, because I would want to experiment with it and see how it goes. Um, Understandable. But or, or or Vancouver. I mentioned that one, too. So any of the cities I mentioned. But I'd probably move the Bengals, because fuck them. Okay, okay. Um, I can't say I'd hate to. I can't say I would hate to lose them in the AFC North. I don't blame you. Yeah, yeah you you guys could play the Colts instead. That'd be way more interesting. I would love that. Yeah, because the Colts are so comically farther north than all the other AFC South teams. <laughs> it's absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, it's pretty. Make, putting them in the AFC North would make so much. More, they're they're more north than the Bengals. Yeah. Like it's fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, uh, any any other thoughts on the um, on the NFL? Uh, no, I do not. Yeah, I don't think I do either. I, especially because football has been doing so much moving, it's tough to even with any confidence say anything about where the teams are right now because it was different two years ago, and it'll be different next year when the Raiders move. So who's to fucking say? All right, so let's move over to baseball, which I think will be a relatively difficult one to talk about, given how weird baseball is. With um, baseball is a weird sport. Team age. Yes, yes it is. So, let's look at our list of metro areas in the U.S., and let's see what the first one that doesn't have an MLB team is located. Come on, fucking scroll, I bitch. Already, I'm going to assume that it's Nashville. Um, it's still Riverside, San Bernardino. Well, that's I LA. don't think it should count. It doesn't yeah. count. Yeah. Um, Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. That was my number two on the list that I just made thinking of these things. Um, yeah, Charlotte, then Orlando, and then San Antonio, and then Portland all don't have teams, and they're 22, 23, 24, 25, and then does, Pittsburgh does have a team at 26. Where does Nashville rank? Uh, I think lower than Memphis, because I remember seeing Memphis. Oh, Nashville's 36. Where did I see Memphis? Maybe I'm lying. Maybe Memphis. Oh, Memphis is 42. Honestly, Nashville would be the absolute perfect city. I actually think Charlotte would be. Although, neither one of us, I think, are wrong. No, like, I had Nashville at one, and I just randomly picked Raleigh as number two in North Carolina. Um, just because I've never well, really, been to Charlotte. What, what, we're both saying, what we're both saying here is that there's just no fucking teams in south of the Cincinnati Reds and north of the Atlanta Braves, and then there's no teams north of the Tampa Bay Rays and south of the Atlanta Braves. Right. Like, if you look at a map... Which I'm, I'm looking, looking at, at now, a yeah. baseball. I mean, Jesus. Like, you'd a think that the Braves, area. like, stunk, like, smell-wise, because everyone's just avoiding them. You could put one in New Orleans. You could put one in Carolina. Mm -hmm. You could, One of the Carolinas, Tennessee. Fucking somewhere. Because that is a massive area to not be represented by a baseball team. And anywhere around there, they would become instant rivals with Atlanta. Of course. Um, they, like, yeah, a snap of the fingers. I think Nashville would be perfect, not just because of uh, size and lack of a team, but they have supported the Titans and the Predators. And uh, I think that they would immediately just cling on to whatever team starts there and just support them the way Vegas has supported the Golden Knights lately. I think it would be a perfect fit. And honestly, I would think they're vying for a team. You know why I have now jumped on your Nashville hype train? Because the Charlotte Knights, I think, is the minor league baseball team yeah. we talked about before. I that That's the highest attended minor league baseball team in the country. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing to bet 
that despite the fact I'm sure the Carolinas want a baseball team, an MLB team, um, I kind of like the fact that there's such a well-attended minor league team. So mm. I'm, I'm cool with leaving them there with that. <laughs> That'd be a very MLB thing to do is not putting a team in Charlotte just so that their minor league team can keep up good numbers. I mean, I, I bet they do. They both still do well, but yeah. Charlotte's got Charlotte loves the Knights, whereas Tennessee doesn't have uh-huh. shit. When was the last time there was an MLB expansion? It was when the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks were added to the team, uh, to the league in 1997, in 1996. How did the expansion work with developing farm systems? So the way farm systems work in general is you sign contracts with pre-existing minor league baseball teams. Okay. So, yeah, so, like, they're usually, like, two to, like, five years, something like that, um, and you'll be like, you're going to be my triple A team. And mm-hmm. they'll go, cool, give us money. And they'll go, yeah, okay. Um, and then you'll, and then those teams will go team. out and sign players outside yeah. of the draft and stuff like that. Right. So, like, they could sign or, the or Sonoma Stompers. Or they'll be players assigned to and- them from, from the um, – the from the, big uh, league the majors, team. yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, no, Sonoma Stompers is an independent, independent team. but in theory they could sign them and have them switch yeah. leagues. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a big story for the longest time. Like the Mets Triple A team. Do you know where it's located? The Mets Triple A team. I'm gonna go with Georgia. You you think way too long about things that are just random guesses at the end of the day. Yeah. Fair enough. Las Vegas. Why? Dude, it's so comically far away. It's fucking stupid. So, like, the Yankees, their AAA team is in Scranton, which is a two-hour bus ride away. Right. The Mets, so like if, if a player gets hurt the, the day of the game, you can have a player up, which I've seen happen. If, if the Mets have an injury, their player is like a five, six-hour plane ride away. Like, it's fucking stupid. So... I I think that contract actually ended like a year ago or so, or it was coming up, something like that. And the Mets are trying to find a new AAA team. I think they did. I think this is all old hat, but I kind of forget the details because this is off the top of my head. But the whole point is that you do have a contract system with, with with the minor league teams. So... There's a map on Reddit that was posted about a month ago showing NHL teams and how far they are from where their affiliate is. Do you know where Vancouver is located in Canada? Just for our listeners who might not know. Yeah, it's the West Coast. It's by Seattle. It's essentially on It's on the Pacific Coast right at the U.S.-Canada border, essentially. Yeah. Their AHL affiliate, do you know where it is? No idea. Utica, New York. What? Yeah. Oh they are on God. the other side of a country that they are not a part of. That's fucking insane. Yep. That's so fucking stupid. It's absolutely so insane. It's actually not labeled, but the Kings AHL team used to be in Manchester, New Hampshire before it moved Fuck. to Ontario. Jesus. Ontario, California. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like, I know um, that like the you know yeah. the Yankees AAA team is Scranton, the Yankees AA team is in Trenton, which are both like I said 2-hour train rides away. Um I think Boston's AAA team is the Pawtucket Red Sox, I think. Um but regardless, I think their AAA and AA team are both in New England. Um the Mets, you know where the Mets AA team is? I don't. Port St. Lucie, Florida. I mean, I get why it's in the South, but that's still really I far. I don't, because it's one of the things that's convenient for having your minor league teams nearby is like, so let's say Greg Bird on the Yankees gets injured again for mm-hmm. the 1700th time, and you have a really good prospect in AAA, you don't want to fuck with his at-bats, but you have an opening in AA where you're like, yeah, let's fuck with that guy's at-bats. You can just smack him over to the AA league, which is exactly what they did. And he can play there, and you can kind of coordinate your rehab games and all that shit amongst your teams in that way. When your AAA team is 
2,800 miles away and your double-A team is 1,200 miles away? What the fuck are you supposed to do with that? That's insane. Yeah, I get wanting to have the minor league teams closer together, but I also get why you would want to have teams farther south just so you don't have to deal with the shitty northern weather in the start and end of the season. Well, that's why usually um, minor league teams start later and end earlier, um, um, which is why pretty much all yeah, like teams start off with like the Grapefruit League, so the, the spring training league will continue for, um, I, don't know, I think, like a month or so afterwards so going back to expansion is there anywhere on the west coast that really really does anything for you i think vegas would actually be a really cool baseball town i think so too and i think i think um vancouver as well and i think salt lake city yeah um all of those cities would be perfect um i mean out of vegas we got bryce harper and chris bryant um Mm -hmm. who would immediately be traded to the Vegas team by forced hand of the MLB just to build up that team's, you know, fandom. Right. Um, I think with all the other professional teams moving there, I don't think it would be that hard to also get them on board with an MLB team. I don't think so either. And we've we've seen that these cities are very comfortable being sport carriers. Right. I could see Los, um, not Los, Jesus, um, New Orleans being a town as well. Yeah. I just that don't know where since, you... Honestly, the biggest thing for me about New Orleans is where would you build a stadium? I have no idea. <laughs> like, it would but have to be I think you'll figure a, out the logistics. It would have to be like a Meadowland situation where it's like an hour from where the actual city is located. Yeah, I guess you're right. Plus, New Orleans isn't super popular, so that might make it really tough. Mm. But I still think something, regardless of what we said earlier, something in that area, because there's just nothing i feel like the way that the vast majority of teams are super close together in the northeast in baseball i think the mlb would have the best scenario for expanding by like four teams at once i feel like there's enough open space and open cities that would want an mlb team where they could fit four in at once. I'm not saying that would be a good idea. That would probably implode as far as talent is concerned. But Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I could see two at once. Yeah. Um, but the problem really with MLB expansion is... Pitchers. Na- 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 yeah, name me, name me five teams that are comfortable with their number five starter. Uh, like, Cleveland. Just... Uh, probably the Mets. Probably the Yankees. The Yankees are not comfortable with our current number five starter. Okay, who never I think mind. Think is probably Domingo Herman. Uh, the Braves probably have the prospects to have a decent number five. Houston and no, I, I, I'm worried about Houston's pitching this season. Houston's got nobody. I'm worried about their health of pitching. Well, that's what I'm saying. They they lost Charlie Morton to free agency, and then they lost Lance McCullers Jr. to Tommy John surgery. So their starters right now are. Garrett Cole, Verlander, Justin Cole. Verlander, Josh James, who James came up hurt. last season. James is hurt? Fuck. He's hurt, won't be ready for the season. Um, is going to start in the bullpen. They have McHugh. Um, oh, yeah, call him McHugh. But regardless, I'd be, I'd be relatively worried if I would – not, like, worried, worried for, like, the season. Right. But, you know, yeah. like, a little bit less than cons- – um, Fair enough. Content. Like if if we're being a little more concrete about it, I would say the Dodgers, Cleveland yeah, for, sure. for sure, maybe the Mets and the Braves. I just because the their be starters confident. are all very young, I don't see them having a huge issue. Just having essentially probably five. the Nationals. Um, who do they have? They have Strasburg, Corbin, Scherzer. Yeah. Um, who do they have after that? They picked up. Um, he was oh he was on the Braves last season, had a really good year. Shockingly, oh um, name starts with an A. Anibal Sanchez. Anibal Sanchez. Um, and they have they signed somebody else. I'm pretty sure. Uh, um, granted, Anibal Sanchez isn't the world's greatest starting pitcher, um, in the slightest. But if the Nationals can have him reproduce up to a percent of what he produced in uh, Atlanta last year. It's a great starting fourth starter 
on your team? Uh, they pretty much don't have a fifth starter. <laughs> uh, their number Four. five right now is Joe Ross, who who has uh four career starts who is it joe ross i've never even heard of that man yeah uh padres first round so the point pick being, in 2011 ex- expanding to to just two more teams would require there to be 10 more starting pitchers in the league and that would be tough yeah. since we're pretty deprived of talent as it is it could do well for free agency since you have more teams bidding on relatively being the same number of quality players, mm-hmm. so they'd have to pay more to get them. You know, if there was only two teams, they wouldn't exactly be paying, paying very high, but with 32, I mean, you have to compete against other competitors. Competitors. So I've been thinking about this a little bit, and, and I think I've come up with an idea about how they could make it work. I think that they would have to elongate the season by starting earlier and moving up spring training. The same number of games, just a little more spread out so you have more days of rest for your starting pitchers. Um, And I feel like a lot more teams would go the raise route and just have bullpen days, have their pitchers pitching shorter and shorter um, innings and just building up bullpens. Uh, where would you put a team that you think would have a direct competition with a pre-existing team? Um, Portland, Fun rivalry. I mean, like, Portland is the easy answer for all these just because it's so close to Seattle. Um, and there's no other teams up there. Right. Nashville and Atlanta are super close. I think that would be great. Las Vegas, I feel like they'd have a somewhat rivalry with – those Bay Area teams, or maybe the Diamondbacks, actually. I could see them having a rivalry with the Diamondbacks. Um, um, I mean, I feel like Indianapolis, since it's essentially smack dab between Cincinnati and Chicago, wouldn't be terribly difficult to pull fans away from those two franchises. And... God, there's like six teams, seven teams right in that area where they would have plenty of space to build up a rivalry with one of them. Um, if you had to, if, if you had to add a second Canadian team, where where would you go? Um, probably, probably not Vancouver, just because Seattle is so close there. Um. Man, I am not good at Canadian, like... Well, everyone says Montreal because the Expos used to be there, but the Expos had really bad attendance when they were there. They'd have to build a whole new stadium, which I'm just not sure the city or the territory of Montreal would be willing Mm -hmm. to do. What about Ottawa? The nation's capital. Uh, Ottawa's... I don't know. I feel like that's too close to Montreal for it to make too much of a difference. What I'm saying, though, is is that Montreal... The people uh, and the stadium location and stuff like that was the main factors. Right. Less so the fact that like they're Canadian. I think it was just more so the fact that <laughs> because Ottawa would be closer to Toronto, so they'd hate Toronto pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Right. Oh, what about Buffalo? Buffalo be might be a good idea. Nice and close to Toronto. You know, New York rivalry with the two Metro teams. If you had a... The more that I look at it, I feel like Vancouver actually would be a pretty good city to do it because of its uh, location near Seattle. I, I, the, you know? it's, it's really because there's just like, nothing else over there. So when, if you put any team in right. any of the surrounding territories within a certain number of states or miles or whatever, they're going to be instantly a rival of Seattle. Right. Man, I feel like the MLB just has so many options to expand. Yeah, no, they do. And one of the things we talked about was the reason I keep asking the competitive question is because age of franchise was seemingly a big deal. When we talk about the MLB, less so when we talk about NFL, but still, um, I think it'd have to be strategically placed, not based strictly on uh, population size, because we see smaller populated areas like St. Louis with high attendance. I think it had to be based on competition size. Um, where are you a rival of pre-existing teams or pre-existing cities or 
what have you. If you had to move an MLB franchise, who would you move and where? Who would I move among MLB franchises? Ah, oh, man, that is... That's actually a really good question. I feel like I'd... Like, that's what sucks about having these teams having so much history is you can't, like... L.A. has three teams relatively in, you know, Southern California, but you can't move any of the three. You can't move one of the teams out of the Bay Area. Um, You can't move either Chicago team. You can't move either New York team. Um, it have to be the newer teams. It have to be like Cincinnati. Tampa Bay. It have yeah, to be like, Miami. Um, yeah, I feel like Tampa Bay is the only good option. I, it's sad. I don't want to say Miami is also an option because of how gigantic that metro area is, and the fact that there's a large Cuban population there, and the state of or the nation of Cuba is a big baseball nation, but. Fuck, man. I mean, they've just had no success there in building out team attendance, even in the good years. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I, I think Tampa makes the most sense because ownership, I think, is relatively shitty. Their stadium is not in Tampa Bay. It's in St. Petersburg in an exceedingly difficult location to get to. And their stadium fucking blows. And it's such a bad oh fucking God. stadium. Oh, God. So mad about that Clint Frazier non-home run last year. Honestly, I would move Tampa Bay just so that they could have a different stadium. Yeah, um, I would too. I, I, I would move Tampa Bay to one of the towns we already mentioned, for sure. Um, it's tough yeah. because these, the these Nashville teams are race. so set in that I'm just not sure who else. Like, You can't move Detroit. You can't move Cleveland or Cincinnati or Pittsburgh. Like, You can't move no. basically any team on the east side of this map. You divide it in half outside the Florida teams. You can't move, Honestly, you can't move really any of these teams because of just how much they mean to their their yeah. towns outside of these two fucking Florida towns. Like, the only West Coast team that you might be able to move is Arizona, but even then, like, they got it pretty good over there considering they haven't really been competitive all that much and they're such a new team. Yeah, and they finished um, 15th in attendance last season, so, like, even with them being pretty yeah, they're mediocre, well. that's not bad. The teams with the lowest attendance, if, if uh, you want a reminder from last time we talked about this, uh, it goes Miami with the fewest, and then Tampa Bay, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and Oakland. But, like, there's reasons for Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and Oakland. You know, Pittsburgh was bad, and ownership kind of sucks. Baltimore was bad, and ownership didn't try very hard. Um, at least relative to the current methods of winning baseball games and, like, the analytics and all those things. And Oakland was good, but in a shitty stadium. Um, that they've been having trouble mm-hmm. bringing people out to in general, but they're getting a new one. So, like, there's reasons for all of these. Um, it's, it's, so it's tough to look at even a list of current tenants outside of Miami, which was just so much lower than everyone else, and Tampa. I, I, I'd have to move one of those teams. They're just not getting people. I feel like... I feel like if there was only one Florida team that would help Miami's attendance... And they're in just such a good location. I feel like it would have to be Tampa Bay. I think so, too. You know? Because I think you just have to give... If you're thinking about moving two teams, I think you just have to give credence to the team that has uh, a larger populated metro area. You know? They just... That team obviously has the better shot of turning things around from an attendance standpoint, if you have nothing else. Because these teams are both both also very new. You know? Miami was founded in 93, and Tampa Mm -hmm. was founded in 98. Like, it's not like they have deep roots in those fucking places 20 fucking years fuck off yeah i mean they're younger than i am i don't have much connection with anybody miami miami's older than you (laughs) yeah they are but still when did miami get founded like the 93 yeah whatever it's got three years on me anything else you'd have to say on current team attendance or, no, not team attendance. That was the last episode we did. Um, team relocation or expansion? Um, I don't. I think uh, I think we really did a good job with this, and uh, that sounded really dumb. I'm. I feel like we kind of said all the major points for each of these leagues, and I think there's really not much more that can be said. You know. 
Yeah. Um, one of the things that's challenging in today's age for picking where teams should move to or where teams should be added is that, you know, the least numerous uh, franchise or league is the MLB, and they still have 30 teams. So that's 30 mm-hmm. cities that you can just cross right off, and they're the most obvious ones. So it gets difficult, which is why I think if you're going to start a new franchise or you're going to relocate a franchise, I think competition with another existing franchise is is a is a big factor. Obviously, population is a big factor, um, and maybe a city that has pre-existing sport teams, like we said, Buffalo and Indianapolis with the MLB, um, a a a previously seen desire to go to sporting events and supporting local franchises. What would you pick as your key factors when we're looking at this? Um, desire to actually have a team. And I know that's yeah. something that we can't really quantify and can't really talk about with too, you know, too much accuracy. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, it doesn't matter how many people live in a metro area as if nobody comes, you know? Yeah. Look at Green Bay. No one Look in the metro Bay, area. Baby. Everyone goes to those games. Look Green at Miami. Bay. Everyone <laughs> in that metro area, nobody goes to those games. Yep. You ain't wrong. I hardly ever am. Um, Would you You consider a Mexican team for either the NFL or the MLB? Because I think we can both say no to NHL right off the bat. Yeah, I would say no to the NFL as well. And I would say plausibly for the MLB. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at too. Um, I think... Because the Mexican League already is really big, mm-hmm. and I mean, really, you could pick a lot of Latin American places and and probably have good attendance because how much Puerto Rico likes the MLB and how much the DR likes the MLB. So you'd want to just go with out of those since they all have the desire a well populated metro area to accompany it. Um, Mexico being the t- Mexico City being the tenth most populous nation uh, city in the world, a full five places above. New York, since Mexico City has 21.65 million people in it. So, yeah, I think there, um, there's not too many other South American cities that come up right away. Uh, Buenos Aires and Argentina, but I don't think that, I've never heard of Argentina being big on baseball like that. A lot of places in Brazil, but I've never heard of Brazil being big on baseball like that. So, if I had to put someone, a team in, in a in a spot... Mexico City would probably be my way to go. Which, um, what would you name a Mexican City team? Um, man, and not have it be, like, super stereotypical or racist, yet also be fitting for, like, something Americans would instantly recognize as being the Mexican team. The Padres. What? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like that would be like Padres are just like a really good Spanish named team. The dads. Yeah, but it's already a team, bud. I'm well aware of that. Um, what about like Los Banditos? That would actually be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I just, I would just love to see what they could any do. Any team with, that. with Los. It's true. Like, like yeah. the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, um, but I, Angels, I just want to see. Uh, whatever. Go for it. I just want to see uh, Mexico, like you know that like skull you always see on shit white girls wear. Mm-hmm. I want to see that skull on like an on like an MLB jersey because I just fucking love that skull. The Diaz de los Muertos. I thought about something with Day of the Dead. Uh, the problem is it just be such cool. a long name. What about just Los Muertos? The Dead. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I'd we fucking buy that. Cap. Grateful Dead Night. Oh, that'd be really cool. That actually would be super fucking cool. I would honestly if, root for that team. Of course, not ironically. I hope they. I hope they spank Texas every time they play them. <laughs> La Chihuahua, los Muertos. The dead Chihuahuas. Well, I mean, I don't know what city they would put it in that would be you know close to the U.S. But like Chihuahuas, like the territory right there. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, what's that city right next to uh, El Paso? Um, 
Tijuana? Yeah, Tijuana. I think that's in Chihuahua. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, wait. The Aztecs. Uh, Mexico City Aztecs. Yeah, so that we could just get into that whole, like, the Cleveland Indians and the all that shit again. No, because Aztec Mexico. is the name of a specific tribe or a specific people. I mean, I feel like the MLB would ax it just in case, you know? Like, if you're starting a franchise, I feel like they would want to have it be just completely, utter, like, absolutely no chance of it being, you know, shitty. I don't think there'd be a problem with it. I think you're right that they would definitely want to avoid something racy. Yeah. Um, like, maybe the Benditos would get nixed because it has a negative connotation to right. it. But I think, you know, if you did Aztecs or if you did Mayans or some shit, it shouldn't be... Uh, I don't think that'd be... Because, like, if the Cleveland Indians renamed their team after a specific tribe that was from the Cleveland area, and the tribe that it's associated with was, like, cool with it, I could see that being a thing. Yeah. I don't think they would at this point because there's probably a lot of bad blood between those uh, two organizations, but... Do you think... Aztecs specifically would be too close to Astros. I don't think so. Fair enough. Um, so just looking at a map of Mexico. Um, so I feel like Juarez probably... I feel like... I feel like it would be really hard to kind of put a team in Mexico, outside of Mexico City. Yeah, I think it's got to be Mexico City, which will actually but also be interesting so because Mexico south. City Mexico City's at elevation as well. So it would be yeah. an interesting comparison to Coors every year. But it's so far south. Is it? Is it far south? Like, it's the same distance from roughly Houston to Atlanta. Oh, wow, that's big. Yeah. Yeah, it's big. So, like, I want to see... How far it would be from Mexico City to Seattle. Oh, so far. So comically, comically far. It is I'm guess a six thousand miles. Um specifically it's four and a half thousand kilometers because I started in Mexico City. They changed it from miles to kilometers. Um, but it's a six and a half hour flight. Okay, so they'd be like crossing the coasts. Yeah. How many how many kilometers did you say it was? Four and a half thousand. Four thousand five hundred. So it's about twenty eight hundred miles. Yeah, so it'd be New York to LA. Yeah. I don't know, it'd be interesting. What would you name a um a Houston or not a Houston, a um a Utah, a Salt Lake City team? Um I don't know enough about Salt Lake City and, like, Utah in general. Like, the Red Rocks, something like that? I don't know. Uh, Red Rocks is Colorado. Whatever. Um, okay. I, I know that they have the, the Sundance Film Festival. I know that they have Mormons, and I know they have skiing. Um, and I'm assuming some lakes. What if they, what if they just went with uh, Salt Lake City Lakers? <laughs> that would be really bad. That'd be hilarious. Hey, the Texas Rangers named their team after the New York Rangers had already existed. Because, like, the Texas Rangers are, like, they were a thing before the New York Rangers were a thing. You know? In history, yeah, but not in sports. I feel like that's... Who came first, the LA Kings or the Sacramento Kings? I actually don't because know. Because one, one of those two teams located in California named themselves... The team after a team that already existed in California, but neither of those teams have the history of the L.A. Lakers. You know, fuck them, <laughs> fuck them square in the ass. Uh, whatever. Fuck, fuck Magic Johnson, but like not really because who gets sick? <laughs> um, we could name them the Zion's after Zion National Park, and then force Zion Williamson to play baseball. Uh, yeah, Michael Jordan style. <laughs> what would you name a team after um, in Vancouver? I, 
you're asking like the least creative person you know to like just come I up know, with but, like, let's names. Just, let's just fuck around. Let's just have some fun. Uh, the We're fucking so, always so statistics oriented. Vancouver, it's, it's the the North Stars. I don't hate that actually. North Stars. Um. Ah, I wanted. To, uh, I was gonna say Huskies because that was the first thing that came to mind. That'd be a terrible name. So college. Yeah. Uh, the the Vancouver Canucks, too. Uh, the wow, the Vancouver Killer Whales, and just share the mascot costume with the Canucks. The Vancouver Whalers, and then they use the the Hartford Whalers old jerseys, but for baseball. And just like a shitty like MS Paint like V over the H. Exactly. What about the uh, what about the Vancouver Olympians? Or is that yeah, too specific? Dumb. Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. What about Portland? Trailblazers. It's already a team. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's the first thing that comes to mind, though, so a lot of people would recognize it. Uh, there's Portland Beavers. I think that's a team already. Um, um, there's the Portland... Um, well, there was that minor league team back in the 70s, the Portland... Um, uh, what were they called? So I what, I searched what, what Portland people... team names and the first result was sixteen possible names for a Portland Major League Baseball team. Oh yeah, what is it? Give me give me a few of the highlights. The Oregon Orcas. It's not bad. The Portland Lumberjacks. I've heard that one before. The Oregon Loggers. Eh. The Portland Crows because of eh. their prominence in Portland. The Portland Pigeons. Eh. Uh the Portland Mavericks. Stealing another team. <laughs> oh, that's probably the team I was thinking of. <laughs> this one's my favorite. The Portland Wet Sox. Gross. Uh, the Oregon Hot Shots because of the wildfires. The Oregon Rain, as in like the reign of a king because it rains stupid. there. And the Bad. Portland Beavers. Yep. Uh, the Portland Nutria. Nutria. No. That's a dumb animal anyway. Oregon Steelhead after the fish. The Portland Salmon. You read all 16? Yeah. Uh, the Wagon Wheels. No. Okay. No, these just get a lot worse. So I'm going to stop reading. What about the uh, the Portland Dealers? Why? Like marijuana. We've had some horribly dumb conversations on this podcast, and I think this is putting the worst for run. Fuck Christ! I think this one's giving the top spot a run for its money. What would you call a team that uh, put in Ottawa for baseball? The just name it the Melnicks, just to piss off that guy. What about the Ottawa Prime Ministers? Why? Since they already used senators. Ottawa Syrup this is Queens. Such awful, awful Ottawa podcasting. Moose Knuckles. Ottawa Geese. I'm out of ideas. Alright, any any concluding thoughts on this subject there, buddy? I do not, other than that conversation about team names was awful. Lick my balls. Gladly. All right. If you want to uh, reach out to us, you can do so at juicingthenumbers at gmail.com. If you want to hit us up on Twitter, you can do so at juicingpod. It's juicing, P-O-D. And if you want to find us, find our website to uh, look at show notes or any spreadsheets we've used in previous episodes, you can do so at juicingthenumbers.wixsite.com slash website. It's juicingthenumbers.wixsite.com slash website. Take it easy. Have a good time.